Welcome to Wilk Prints. Uh, I'd like to introduce you to another one of my hobbies, growing super hot peppers hydroponically. Now the main elements of the setup are the plants, a light, and then an exhaust system. So there's a filter and an exhaust duct and an inline fan that blows straight into the closet. I'd like to design a 90 degree elbow in order to divert that air out of the closet and create some better circulation. That leads me to SolidWorks where I'm going to open up a new part. Start a sketch on the front plane. And draw a circle. But I'm not in the right units. I'm in millimeters, seconds, grams. So I need to switch over to Imperial. The outside diameter of the inline fan has a taper from 3.7 to 3.9 inches. For this reason, we're going to go right in the middle and we're going to make an ID of 3.8 inches. Once we have the ID of the elbow drawn, we need to draw the path that it's going to follow. We're going to do that by starting a sketch on the top plane. I want this elbow to have two straight sections on either end that we're going to accomplish by drawing two perpendicular lines and adding a fillet in the corner. The radius of the fillet is going to be the same radius as half of the ID of this elbow. And then the straight sections are going to be an inch and an eighth, so 1.125. And I'm just going to make those equal to each other. Now that we have a profile and a path, the profile being the circle and the path being the radius that we just created, we can create a sweep feature. The sweep feature represents the inner workings of the 90 degree elbow that we want to create. So in order to finish this off, we need to create a shell feature and shell outward to create the final part. In order to create a shell with two open ends, we're going to select both faces. Now all we have to do is send it over to Kira for slicing. Now that we're in Cura, we can see in red the positions where the slicer is going to place supports, and that looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and slice and send it over to the printer. Now here's where I had a couple failures happen. The support material didn't stick to the build plate, so I added some blue tape, and that fixed that problem. My second problem is that the cable leading to the limit switch got stuck under the printer, and pulled one of the conductors out of the limit switch mid-print. So here's a little video of what that damage looked like. After a quick solder job, we're back to printing. The support material was a lot harder to remove than I remember it being, so I'll have to go check my overlap settings between the support and the actual part. All that's left to do is test fit the part. And it looks like it fits. I'd call that a success. If you like what you saw and you'd like to support the channel, please hit that subscribe button down below. This is footage from eight days later. You can see how much bigger a lot of these peppers have gotten and how full this plant is. Thanks again for watching and I hope you enjoyed.